we're reviewing how to graph y equals cotangent of x. Uh, there's certain things that I want to make sure that I go over. Number one, to find the period, it's going to be pi over b. And of course, the asymptotes are located at pi over b, where n is an integer. Use the graph of f of x of cotangent of x to graph the graph of g of x, which is cotangent of 2x. So to identify the period, we know that the b value is 2. So we know that the period is pi over 2. Uh, to identify the y-intercept, what you have to do is use a period to identify the x-intercepts. So the first intercept, intercept, x-intercept for f of x is pi over 2. For g of x, it's going to occur at pi over 2 times 1 half, or pi over 4. To identify the asymptotes, the asymptotes will occur at pi over 2. So as you can see, it says sketch the asymptotes. So in this case, for, for cotangent of 2x, the asymptote occurs at 0. The other asymptote occurs at pi over 2. at 0, and of course the intersection is at pi over 4. So it says complete the graph, g of x equals cotangent of 1 half x. So I know that to find the period, it's going to be pi divided by 1 half. In this case, it's going to be pi times 2 over 1, so the period is 2 pi. And it starts at 0. And it's, I know it's, it starts at 0, so that's going to be the first asymptote. And then the second asymptote will be at, at 2 pi. The intersection will be pi over 1 half times 2 which is going to be at pi. That's going to be the intersection. And the asymptotes are at x equals 0 and x equals uh, 2 pi. And then here is the sketch of cotangent. As you can see, for cotangent of x, the period is from 0 to 2 pi. And you notice that the asymptote occurs at x equals 0. And it does also occur at x equals 3. So I have number 1 and number 2 here shown. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the main parts of question 1 and question 2. Remember that b is equal to 1 half. The period is pi over 1 half, so in this case it would be 2 pi. There is no phase shift. There is no vertical shift. The two asymptotes will occur at 0 and 2 pi, or 0 and 360. So we have 2 pi k plus 2 pi in radians, or 360 k plus 360. Here are the two asymptotes. The domain is all real numbers except for the asymptotes, and the range is all real numbers. So for question one, I'm going to show you in Desmos at the end. Question two, uh, we know that the value of b is 2, so therefore the period will be pi divided by 2. There is no phase shift. 
the vertical shift is negative 2, and the asymptotes occur at 0 and 90 degrees, or 0 and pi over 2 radians. The asymptote equations are going to be 90 degrees times k plus 90, or pi over 2 times k plus pi over 2. As you can see, uh, as compared to the parent function, the cotangent function it goes down two units, and you can see the, uh, the graph there. The domain is all real numbers except for pi over 2 times k plus pi, and the range is all real numbers. For question 3, we have a phase shift for cotangent. We know the value of b is 1. We know the period will be pi over 1, which in this case it's pi, or 180 degrees. That would be the period. The phase shift it's going to shift left pi over 6 or 30 degrees. Vertical shift, none. The asymptotes are at negative pi over 6 plus pi. That would be the equation negative pi over 6 k plus pi or or we I want to say n 5 pi over 6 k plus pi so we would say it occurs at negative 30 plus 180 that would be the equation in degrees or it would be 150 k plus 180 degrees. So the domain is all reals except for the asymptotes which occur at negative 30 k plus 180 or and 150 k plus 180. The range, the y values, it's all real numbers.